Welcome to Sergei's Chemistry. We are looking at the test for phosphate ions. Phosphate ions are difficult to confirm because they are pretty stable and they don't react with concentrated or dilute sulfuric acid. Here I use uh, ammonium dihydrogen phosphate. You can use hydrogen phosphate. Anyway, phosphates are going to be protonated in solution. And as a control, I use zinc sulfate. Sulfates are also stable, they don't react with concentrated or dilute sulfuric acid. I add distilled water just to show that the test is sensitive enough, it's not a necessary step. Necessary first step is addition of concentrated nitric acid. And what follows is addition of ammonium molybdate. You see it has complicated formula, but it's enough to know there are ammonium ions and a negative complex made of molybdenum and oxygen atoms. Ammonium molybdate solution is unstable, very often form precipitates on standing. Just shake it up and use the suspension, as I am doing here. It would work well enough. So, ammonium molybdate addition, and next step is the heating up. Uh, you can use open fire. Here I'm using water bath with boiling water in the beaker. Positive result is already visible. Yellow color, yellow solution, or maybe precipitate. Yes, now it's clear it's precipitate. Bright yellow precipitate, positive sign for the presence of phosphate ions. Let's look at it closer. It's precipitate of ammonium phosphomolybdate, bright yellow. Just for curiosity's sake, I quote the full equation above. Enjoy the stoichiometric coefficients. And remember the test for phosphates. First, add concentrated nitric acid to the solution, then ammonium molybdate, and uh, heat it up and observe the appearance of bright yellow precipitate. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and uh, see you next time. Bye.